Hi guys, my name is Kathleen and I'm a dyslexic here to help other dyslexics and their parents. Today I am going to be sharing how to make division visual and multi-sensory. So if your child is struggling with division, then this video is for you. Let's get into it. Just like multiplication, division is a challenge to learn. It is frustrating because we're dealing with so many more numbers than adding and subtracting. So if you are trying to figure out how to help your child with multiplication, I'm going to go ahead and link that video that I put up last week for you. But with division, I have found a way to make it visual and it has really helped my students and other people learn how to divide. And so with multiplication, we're taking and putting things together. With division, we're breaking things apart. So I have found a way to do this, and I have a couple examples that I'm going to be sharing with you. So my first example is just the number. So 11 divided by 1. And so this is really easy. So what you do is you take the number they have, and you can make that where they can see it. If you can see, I have hot glue all over these. But, and then you take the number that is being divided by and you draw circles around it. So 11 divided by one. So one circle and then you put all of them in there. So 11 divided by one is 11. You can also do this with zero. So 12, there are 12 divided by zero. There's nothing in there because the answer is zero. Then I also did 12 divided by four. And so you can see that we've got 12 here divided out, but we've got four. So I made four circles. And then to make this visual and help them understand it, they can divide it out. So they can put one here, 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 and here until all 12 are divided out. And so then they can go count how many are in each circle and it's three. So 12 divided by four is three. I have one more for you. So 30 divided by six. So this one, the same thing, you have 30. So you would get 30 objects of something. Then you would make circles and you would divide it out. So one, all the way down until you don't have any objects left. So 30 divided by six is five. And that they can see that each group has the same number, giving it the number. This can also be done if you want to show them like 31 divided by six, and then there would be an outlier right here. So there would be a remainder. So this also helps when you want to do remainders and helping the child understand the concepts. But I have learned that when you make things visual for the child and tactile because they can touch it and see it, it becomes much easier for a dyslexic to learn these things. I hope you found this useful and that you can use it. You don't have to go out and buy anything. I went and bought cheap pom-poms from the craft store that's close to me. You don't have to spend a fortune on this. In fact, you don't even have to spend any money. You can literally draw it out. And so one of the things is, is you could just have them draw it out, make the circles, and then they can just do dots, count out 30 dots and then count the numbers. You can make this as easy as possible or as complex and make things like this. Either way, it's just another way to help your dyslexic understand division in a different way so they can see how it's actually working. I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.